how to fix the contacts app not working, crashes, freezing, or other errors on the Samsung Galaxy S23 and S24 series. First, let's go back to your home screen and then swipe up to go into the app screen. Next, open up the contacts app and see if it works, uh, if it's working. If it uh, keeps crashing, then what you can do is try to force stop the app. So swipe down at the top, then tap on the settings icon. In settings, we scroll down and then tap on apps. And then tap on contacts. So tap on that. And then tap on force stop. Then tap on OK. And then launch the app again. So in the app screen, open up contacts again and see if now it reopens and work correctly. If it does not, you want to try to clear the data from it. So click cache and data. So we go down. So within the contacts app info, we go down and tap on storage. Now again, it is in uh, settings, apps, contacts, and then storage. In storage, tap on clear cache then tap on clear data, then tap on delete. So now go back to your app and see if it works. Tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. And from here you can try to reopen the contacts app. You may want to go and check the system software uh, update. So swipe down at the top. Then tap on the settings icon. Next, go down, then tap on software update. So tap on software update, and then tap on download and install. If um, there is an update button, you can tap on update. Now there is an update that's ready for me to install. So I can tap on the install now button to install any update that may cause an issue with my apps. And so give that a try and uh, try to update your apps uh, on your device. Another thing that you can do is to restart your device. So simply swipe down at the top, tap on the power button, then tap on the restart button right here to restart the device. The next solution is to check for your app permissions. So in here we go to uh, in settings, we, we go go down and tap on security and privacy. Next in here, scroll down and tap on permission manager. Then tap on contacts. Then tap on contacts and make sure you allow uh, contacts. If permission set not to don't allow, then the apps may not work correctly. So make sure you set the correct permission for your contacts. Uh, next, you can also try to reset app preferences. So if you go into um, settings, so in settings, we go down and tap on apps, then tap on the more button, then tap on reset app preferences, then tap on reset. And after that, try to go back into your contacts app and see if that fix the issue. Now for the advanced troubleshooting, we can try to go into safe mode. So we start your phone in safe mode and then check to see if the app is working correctly. Sometimes a third party app that has access to contacts can cause an issue with your contacts app. So we boot your phone into safe mode. Now to boot the phone into safe mode, first we power off the device. So turn it off completely. Wait for the phone uh, into the phone switch off completely. Then we press on the side button to power on the, the device. So press and hold. Once you see the Samsung logo, press and hold on the volume down button. So press and hold and continue to hold. So hold that into the phone boot up in safe mode. Now you can see here it says safe mode. So now we go into our home screen. 
Next, we open up contacts and see if now contacts works. If now your contacts works correctly in safe mode, then it could be that your phone has a third party app installed that interfering with your uh, contacts app. So you want to double check any third party apps. So here we can uh, restart the device. Once you restart the device, it will go back to a normal mode. Finally, as the last result, you can perform a factory reset on your device. This erases your data, so backup first, always backup first before you do a full reset. And then we can scroll down, then tap on the settings icon. Next, scroll down and tap on general management, and then scroll down to the bottom and tap on reset. Then scroll down and tap on factory data reset. And then go down and perform a full reset. So only do this if you have already backup your device. And that's it. So hopefully one of those uh, options, one of those solutions can fix a problem with your device. You also want to check to make sure that you have uh, enough storage space on your device. When your device run out of storage space, apps can crash and not working correctly. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.